In this video, we're going to still be working with our factoring tricks, but we're going to look at a concept that we probably haven't looked at enough, and that is when factoring any problem, we must always, that means always, always factor the greatest common factor first, regardless of the problem. Before we do any other factoring strategy, you should always check for a greatest common factor first. So for example, if we have 9x cubed minus 81x, yes, there's two terms, so yes, I want to start thinking about factoring tricks, but before I get there, I check to see if there's a greatest common factor, and there is. Both 9 and 81 are divisible by 9. They also both have an x in common. So we'll factor out the GCF of 9x first, and that leaves us with x squared minus, oop, not 81, 81 divided by 9 is 9. Now we have a GCF of 9x, that's just going to hang out out front on our next step, and then we can factor on from there. I notice subtraction with squares. We have a difference of squares. This means it can factor to the sum and difference of the square roots. The square root of x squared is x, the square root of 9 is 3, and we have now factored it to 9x times x plus 3 times x minus 3. Let's look at a second example. Here we have 2x squared y minus 12xy plus 18y. Before we start doing anything else, we first think GCF. All three terms ha are divisible by 2. They also all have a y on them. So let's factor out the 2y. That leaves us with x squared minus 6x plus 9. Now we're ready to continue factoring, but before we do, I want to notice we can take the square root of the first and last terms. That's something we always want to kind of be looking for in the back of our mind. The square root of x squared is x, the square root of 9 is 3, and if I multiply that by 2, I get 6x, which matches the middle term. If multiplying the square roots times 2 gives us the middle term, it means we have something squared. As we do, don't forget the GCF out front, the 2y is always out front. And we take the square roots we found and the sign from the middle. This is 2y times x minus 3 squared. When factoring with shortcuts, trinomials, when factoring with grouping, whatever factoring we're doing, you should always check for a greatest common factor first.